Lucas Media. So we got news coming out of Boxing World. Javante Tank Davis versus Frank Martin, who fought last night. That purses was revealed about how, how much each fighter is making. Now, I heard different ranges, but according to the sportster.com, Javon Tank Tank Davis is reportedly going to earn around $15 million, depending on how the fight performs. But overall, his earning potential for this fight could exceed $25 million. And Frank Martin, who uh, if I'm sure I remember he was offered a $1 million by Shakur Stevenson, but he had turned it down, is going to make $3.25 million for last night's bout. You know, plus, you know, back-end money and all of that. So, it looks like both of these fighters are going to make a a huge payday tang davis who is who says he's one of the top earners in boxing him Devin haney ryan garcia canelo alvarez these fighters are making some serious money out there of course you got to factor in you know taxes amazon i got to get they cut al Heyman got to get his cut floyd got to get his cut managers trainers you know so i'm sure they'll still have some money left over after all of that my only question is, is Tank going to still stay active? I mean, I don't want to get in a scenario like how he did with last year where he fought Ryan Garcia and then do the switching networks. Because we don't know. We really don't even know whether or not the PBC will still be with Showtime. But I mean, Showtime with Amazon Prime. But with them switching networks and all these different changes, is Tank going to stay active now since Leonard Ellaby got fired by Floyd Mayweather over the past week? And you see Tank and Floyd, I mean, Tank and Leonard is together like how Leonard and Floyd was. I would not be surprised if Leonard Ellaby now runs Javon Tank, Tank Davis, GTD promotions. Now, if that happens, I could see Leonard trying to get Tank Davis even more fights. And then one more thing is what's going on with Tank and the whole PBC thing? Like, is, so is he going to stay with Al Heyman? Is he still with the PBC? Is you got rumors that Al's going to leave PBC and what's going on with Floyd because that this is weird, right? Him and Floyd are beefing and Floyd's trying to sabotage Tank, but Tank still has to give Floyd a portion of his money because Floyd says he owns the PBC. And I'm going to keep just repeating this because I mean, we got to understand how all of this is intertwined. And while $25 million in potential earnings is a lot of money, don't get me wrong. If Tank Davis want to make that 50 and up, 50, 60, 70 million and up, 100 million and up, he's going to have to fight the top guys. He's going to have to fight the Shakur Stevensons. He's going to have to fight the Devin Haney's. He's going to have to fight the Lomachenko's. He's going to have to fight the Tiafima Lopez's. And he's going to have to do it more often than once a year, once every 20 months, you know. So it's critical. It's critical for Tank Handlers to make sure that he stays active. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.